Okay, so today we're going to go over the Navy third and second class swim qualifications. Starting with the third class swim qual, we have a uh, tower jump, 50 yard swim, 5 minute prone float, followed by a blouse and trouser inflation. For the first event, the tower jump, your hands will be crossed and the instructor will tell you to look up, look down, look left, and look right. After that, you will take a full 30 inch step, keeping your legs crossed all the way down, and swim back up to the surface. The next event will be the 50-yard swim, where you will conduct any one of the four survival strokes. Here you can see our demonstrator has taken off his utility so you can get a good look at the proper form and technique. The stroke our demonstrator is performing is called freestyle, or otherwise known as crawl stroke. Another valid survival stroke to be used is called breaststroke, seen here. It's important to mention that the strokes will be covered in more detail in the later video. This is just a good demonstration so you can get the basics of the form. This is the third of the four acceptable survival strokes used during the uh, Navy third and second class swim quals. This one is called side stroke. And finally, here is elementary backstroke, the last of the four acceptable survival strokes during the third and second class swim qualification. The next event after the 50 meter survival stroke swim is the prone float. The individual will execute the prone float for five minutes. And during those five minutes, the individual will not move their arms or legs. Only the head will be moved and lifted up above the water to take a single breath and then place back down. After the five minute prone float, the next event is the blouse inflation. The individual will button up their blouse, holding it tight to their mouth and blowing constantly to inflate the shoulder portion. The instructor will then tell you to remove one hand and put a thumbs up to demonstrate that the blouse inflation has been done correctly. And finally, the last event is the trouser inflation. The individual being tested will remove their trousers and boots while staying afloat. Here you can see I've added an underwater view of what's called an egg beater kick, um, which is pretty much just an alternating breaststroke kick. Egg beater kick would be an important technique to learn when doing some of the longer exercises like the blouse and trouser inflation. So after you've removed your trousers and your boots, you're going to tie a double knot into the end of your trousers and, and zip them up so that uh, you'll be able to get air into them. And there, there you can see the first way of getting air into your trousers was by putting it behind your head and flipping it over. And then you put the thumbs up. The next way is to hold it on the surface and splash air into it and then it's the same thumbs up and finally the last way is to actually go underwater put your face up and blow into the trousers thereby inflating them once they're inflated again you just put the thumbs up to demonstrate that you've done it effectively that wraps it up for the third class swim qual the second class swim qual differs only in that you would have to demonstrate each of the four survival strokes that we talked about and the events are sequential, meaning you won't be able to get out of the water in between events. This has been how to properly execute the Navy third and class swim call. Thanks for watching.